Hey guys, it's Jack Sparrow 123 and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Last time we fought a Rathian with a bow and this time we're going to be doing some of the little extra quests for getting the question question mark Rathian tracks. But before that I want to quickly talk about Poogie over here. Now Poogie is a little pet you can use and when you see an exclamation mark over Poogie's head Press circle. So. And voila. Once Poogie gets a really large heart over his head through multiple uses of petting him in between quests, we can use him to find special material or items. Poogie just loves to be pet. Try getting your Poogie in time with the music to get it to like you. Do well enough and Poogie's affection will go up, changing its attitude towards you. So if we carry Poogie, we can't do this just quite yet. Oh, my controller's rumbling here. If I put him down, perhaps it works off the bat. Oh, looks like it does. And you do this Poogie? And Poogie got us a free energy drink. Oh, and a silver egg. That's pretty good. Anyways, so that's Poogie. I'm going to put up on screen right now all the items you can get from which areas of the map. Okay. And now we're going to do our quests, which I'm going to let other Jack explain them. I believe we should restock here. Um, we are going to need some more Trank Bombs. Oh, whoops. Some Shock Arrows and Power Arrows. I'm a little tired today, so I might be a little out of it. Anyways, so post a new quest. Optional, five star. Let's go for the Baroth. We did the Pookie Pookie the other time. So let's do a uh, Rocky guy. The big rock. We will be getting all the items Pookie Pookie can give us. It's just I gotta do it in between missions. I do not believe you can do it rapidly. So we gotta do it every so often. Sorry about that. It's going to be... A bit of time before we max out our poogie. And my controller just shifted. Okay, no matter what, we're getting 25 on everything. Uh, our bow isn't quite that powerful. And elemental resistance isn't going to do anything against Baros. So we're just going to attack up M. Now here's a big question. Are we going to be able to see our health bar so I can explain the weapon? If not, uh, I'll have to do post-commentary explanation because I will be too focused to actually do the thing. You know, the thingy with the bow. It dropped you right into the fire. Look sharp, partner. Oh, hey. What, how's it going there, Baroth? So this can happen from time to time. You might get dropped right where the monster is. Anyways, we want to quickly let Baroth walk towards a more convenient place to fight. Because if we were to fight him here, I would 100% get hit. We do want to pick up the Baroth tracks while we're following behind him just to level that up. This Baroth isn't really too big. Hi, buddy. Personally, I find Baroth is completely passive. But I'm pretty sure he's listed as aggressive. Or territorial, at least. Oh, question, question mark, Rathian scales. We need those. Look, it's that mystery monster's trail again. So we gotta find a bunch of these. Yes, yes. Thank you, game. So before we end up fighting Baroth, I'm going to speed up the video while I run around and collect these tracks. Because we kind of need these in order to, you know, progress the story.
Sorry, buddy. Okay, well, we're back. I gathered most of this stuff. And, yeah. So he was hungry, so I believe he was a little more aggressive. Now, if you notice, we can actually see our stamina. And the Baroth just got poisoned from our, uh, our Palico, because he's using Pookie Pookie gear. I've got no clue how I dodged that, but I am thankful I did. Anyways, so let's quickly talk about the bow, because the last time I couldn't really focus enough to do it. The bow uses a three hit system. So as you see, every time I do a singular hit, it does one arrow. But if I shoot a second time, that's two arrows. If I shoot a third time, that's three arrows. If you have a skill called Mighty Bow, that will make it so that you do four and on the fourth power up, you shoot another three arrow. You can use the bow by just standing there shooting like that. Or, in my way, when you aim down sights, you see you gain a free charge. Making it so you can rapidly do two and three arrows rotating. This is a much higher way of doing DPS. However, the downside to this is it uses up a lot of stamina. So you gotta kind of be careful of that. But if you just keep rotating, it works out pretty well. Sadly, I didn't roll there because I was in the sheathing animation. Anyways, if we keep this up, we'll be good to go. Uh oh. Now, you can also do attacks like this and that. That attack there is a stunning attack, so if it hits the monster's head, it will most likely stun the monster. Meanwhile, you can shoot multiple arrows by hitting circle or your secondary attack button. This is incredibly useful for getting high damage off at close quarters. This is using the circle attack or the spread shot it is called. It's the fastest way to get the most damage out of the bow. Especially when you mix it with a... What's it called? When you mix it with Spread Shot, which is a jewel or skill that I absolutely love. We will be using that with our Light Bow Gun. Now you also have Dragon Piercer, like I showed you in the past, which is this attack. It does get more powerful the more charge you have. And it does pierce the monster going all the way through them. So it's very useful to use that attack in a situation where you can full charge, the monster can't move, and yeah. Personally, I love the bow. Sadly, I'm a little rusty with it. Now, if you want to consistently always do this attack or the dodge, you got aim down sights or ADS. If you don't want to, then you unaim. And you just normal roll. Last time I was a little too scramble minded to even think about doing that. And if you use this attack, you can't roll off the bat. See, there was a delay. However, that's not too bad of a deal. Being able to do high damage at the cost of not being able to roll sounds very similar to a giant sword I know about. Anyways, so that's a bow. Let's uh, get into a focused fight now. I'm going to speed up the video and do post commentary over top. And I'll see you guys when I'm done.
Oh, here he comes. Now, one, two, I'm complete. Oh, I'm pretty well. We didn't have to use any of our special ammo. If we did, I could have probably captured him when he was sitting down. Let's get some round cactus. Because we never know if that's a useful material to us. We didn't really have enough time to gather it now, did we? Oh, and we also got a mysterious fade. That's good. Appraise it. What kind of skill did we get? Survival. Survival expert skill. That's not really a useful one. When we got the question, question mark, Rathium pretty far ahead. New optional quest. New arena quest. That is a special arena bar off. Of uh, five or six star. No, I want Pat Poogie. And let's pick up Poogie. So we could place him down here, but I don't really want to do that. We want to head around to the Huntsman, if you guys remember him. Just right over here. Now, if you are using a controller, you can feel it rumble when you're close to something good. Just like right here. Okay, Poogie. Get yourself something nice. Dick. You got this, buddy. Yes. Apprentice Fiverr. So now if we talk to Poogie, change clothes. We now have Apprentice Fiverr. We'll have Poogie wear this for a little bit. We'll be getting Poogie costumes as we go through the game, so... Hopefully we'll see all of them. If we don't, I'll add bonus episodes just to show some. Let's talk to the researcher. Hmm. Yes. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I see you're making good progress with your field studies. We are getting closer and closer to finding out what that mysterious monster is. Oh, by the way, I was hoping I might ask you a favor. Not long ago, a powerful Anjanath was sighted in the Wildspire Waste. I'd like the field team to investigate this Anjanath. After all, Anjanaths provide a baseline for all our research. It would be a good, proper study without one. I told the chief I was planning to ask you, and then he got all fired up by the idea. Said he'd beef up the canteen. At least until our Anjanath's research is complete. <laughs> the chef and I share the same core belief. You know? In order to achieve one's goals, you must continue to make significant progress. Hard, will you? Although I believe the good chef would word it a little more colorfully. Anyways, we're counting on you now. So, what is it? And here's our monster guides. As you see, our research level is pretty good on certain monsters. Others, uh, not so much. Especially not this question, question, question mark, Rathian. We got a special investigation, and we've got monster field guides. Anyways, we got accept the quest tinkled, tickled pink. But before that, there's someone with an exclamation mark. And we don't want to fall behind on the question mark, or exclamation marks anymore. So let's come over here and talk to him. Hey, hey I could use some help. Think you could do me this favor? When it's done, we'll be able to get a new fertilizer made for the ancient tree. Thanks, and good luck. So we need Kuluyaku. That's a problem. And as we remember, they said he buffed up his little canteen a bit. Sadly, we cannot see that right now. Besides a few little extras. This is really not so great. Custom platter. We can make a custom platter, which I will be doing later in this series, in order to get the best stats, so to speak. Um, is there anything we could do right now? That's 10. Let's see what we can make if I just quickly 
That's not too bad. Anything else that is a star increase? This one's good. Now where's another star increase? You want as many stars as possible. So let's head back to meat. Okay, seems like we can't get two stars yet. We can get some pretty useful skills in feline boost. Feline acrobatics, feline boost. Anyways, those are foods we can make. We'll do that a little later in this series. I really don't want to fight this Anjanath. Um... Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop dilly-dallying. This is a main story quest, so I'm going to swap over to our light bow gun and we'll... We'll take care of the Anjanath in the wild spire waste. Okay, for this quest, I'm going to quickly come over here and eat a defense up M. I have no confidence in being able to dodge this guy for the entire thing. This is also a new cooking animation, so let's quickly... Actually, that was a cooking animation we already seen. I'm kind of losing track of those. I'll just make a bonus video showing off them all. Anyways. Here we go. Hi-ho to the wild spire waste again. Okay. Watch yourself. Yep. So we gotta take care of a bit of an Anjanath problem. Which isn't going to be too nice for us, but you know. Good old Anjanath ain't going to do us too much harm, hopefully. We did get a free Anjanath scale plus, so we could make that little palico armor. And that was a pilot hair that just ran by. Okay, well, I don't know how many of those we've seen so far. I think we're at four pilot hairs. We No, we're at five. Oh, shoot. That's a bit quick. You really got a short temper now, don't you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop going up on ledges. That's going to get me hurt really bad. Hi, buddy. Do you mind just, you know... Uh-oh. At least he hit it. Uh-oh. So, Anjanath's weak point is his head, like we said in the past. And it's also the snoot. But his snoot isn't out. So we just got play smart. I'm going to speed up the video now. If anything big happens, I'll unspeed or add post commentary over it, depending on what my reaction is. Hey, guys. Yeah, good luck to Battle Junkie Jack. Uh, <laughs> That's a pretty hefty boy. So, um, this is high rank Anjanath. There's not too many new things about him besides the fact that he will spit fire more frequently. He does hit a lot harder. As you see, he almost one shots us when he hits me at some point. It's a bit of a problem. He's a really strong monster, but I did pretty good in this hunt when I hit my stride. I did when he enters his next area, which is down by the canyons. Um, I do pretty good. I decide to take a tactic of close ranged range weapon, which is a fighting style where when you use a ranged weapon, you are actually fighting point blank against a monster and fighting like you would with a normal weapon. It's actually a really good fighting style against monsters like the Anjanath, who will jump across the map to hit you. It keeps a monster in place and allows you to frequently hit the monster. Now, this is a really commonly used tactic when you're using Heavy Bow Gun, because Heavy Bow Gun has the highest DPS on spread ammo, which spread ammo is really close ammo, so it's really used a lot there. I use it because, well, I uh, 
I don't want Anjanath jumping across the map to hit me. Which is a pretty big problem. I do also do a Ring Around the Rosie early fight, which is I find a large object that the monster cannot jump through. Sorry, I got the hiccups. And I use that to keep me and the monster separated. And anytime he comes to where I am, I swap around. It's pretty much Ring Around the Rosie with the monster. It's a really good tactic when you're using ranged weapons. However, if you're using melee, he's pretty much not much. He's pretty much the same. Just keep your wits about you. Dodge, stay close to the legs, you know. Same thing as we did with the first Anjanath. Sadly, this Anjanath, I wasn't able to do that too well, but we'll keep that a secret. Now, I did also get to show off the Diablos trap, which I'm really thankful for. We got to see both Diablos and Baroth at some point during this. And actually, the Baroth helped me out quite a bit during the hunt. I might uh, pause this commentary in order to show you bits and pieces of that. Uh, the video is going on for quite a bit longer than I anticipated. I did spend quite a bit of time on that Poogie. And I also kind of toyed around a little bit too much. I I should be fighting a lot better, but I'm I've been just all over the place. And it's really early in the morning for me. I usually sleep in or, you know, do my own thing. But uh, I got up early because I work early today. Anyway, so how you guys been? It's almost Halloween. In the sense that it's in, uh, what? Uh, seven days, about. I haven't been keeping track. I am going to be wearing the Halloween costume on Halloween for, like, the Monster Hunter costume. I'm not actually going to be dressing up. That would be weird. Anyways. Uh, hopefully you guys aren't sick or anything. You're staying healthy, you know. Not doing anything too reckless. Anyways, back to Monster Hunter topics. We're getting pretty close to end of the main story. After we deal with what's coming up after the Anjanath, we're going to be dealing with some pretty hefty boys. And when I say pretty hefty, I mean like big boys. You know, and we're going to be dealing with the big, big smackers. The monsters that will really hurt. Um, I think after the question, question mark, Rathian, we will be dealing with uh, something that is not going to be fun. I don't want to spoil anything, but I did end up spoiling what the monster we're fighting is at the end of last video. And I forgot to bleep that out. So, uh, if you want to know what it is, just, you know, wink, wink, go over there. I did really enjoy this hunt, though. Uh, Anjanath is one of the monsters I struggle with, because it's a giant T-Rex running at me when I have tiny bow gun. You know? I, I don't get that same impression when I fight, like, dragons or anything. I just have it against Anjanath, so... It's a pretty big deal. Anyways... I hope this post-commentary went on long enough. It's been like five minutes now. Anyways, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video where we do more side quests and try to get Pink Rathi and stuff. Bye! Oh. He's not heading to his house, so why don't I just capture him here? There we go. Hunt complete. Nicely done, partner. How about we celebrate with a meal back at base? Oh, shoot. I almost had to increase my hit count because that guy <laughs> wanted to hit me. So, if you noticed, I probably talked about it in uh, the post commentary. But when I was fighting him, I figured it would be more beneficial to just start rolling in between him and fighting close quarters. Than fighting ranged and having him jump at me all the time. So, I, yeah, I think that went pretty well. You can now select more ingredients. New ingredients have been added to the menu. That's pretty good. We got the canteen upgrade. Ba -da -ba -ba. Anyway, so I found that, like, with Anjanath, if you're close quarters, he mostly does bite attacks. I'm surprised he didn't do any kicks or the tail smack very much. Anyways, Chief Ecolo Ecologist, you're back. I'm glad to see you're safe. I just wanted to say, wonderful job with the Anjanath. Everyone here is just thrilled. Thank you. Now we just need to decipher this mysterious new information you've come across. And don't worry, we will. 
You will be the first to know the results. In the meantime, keep collecting as much evidence as you can. Our research depends on it. So what is it now? Yeah. Need to find a lot more evidence of that mystery monster. A lot more evidence, hey, you say? Anyways, we gotta quickly talk to the Elder Melder. Oh, yeah. He's be showing up in a bunch of different regions. So that's just saying we can go to different regions to get our stuff now. So it seems like uh, the Elder Melder upgraded a bit. Oh. oh, hey there, Hunter. A moment, if you don't mind. The other day, my melding research reached a new plateau. Do you have any decorations you're not using? Just say the word and I'll use this pot here to mix them up into new decorations for you. So, what can I meld for you? So, just like she said, we can now meld decorations, which means we can get stream, which attacks... Uh, increases water attack, blaze, which increases fire attack, water resistance, fire resistance, and defense boost. Sadly, we don't have anything we want to give out right now. And she can also craft a lot. Actually, no, these are the same. I forgot my game crashed earlier when I was looking through all of these. Anyways, there is also one more person who wishes to talk to us, and then we'll end off the video. Hello, chef. Okay, I've been meaning to spot you, Hunter, since you'll be going up against those new monsters. Monsters. The old canteen was starting to look kind of canteen y. And in my house, we don't plateau, we make gains. So I did a little flexing, and now the canteen is bulked up with all kinds of new meals in spirit. These spirits are powerfully strong. As meow decoration is key. Drink too much and you'll be one unlucky cat. Okay, so we come over here. As you see, the canteen has changed a bit. And with this new upgrade means our meals are now 50-50, 10-50, 20-50. These are really good. This is what we were waiting for. This means we can now make really good meals. Which will make us really, really strong. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video at all and want to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me and it would keep you posted on my future videos. I'm JaxPar123, and in tomorrow's video, we'll get the rest of the Rathian tracks. Bye!